Hey, welcome to Spirit of Excellence Podcast with your man, Pastor Reverend Artel Bama Sr., brought to you by Spirit of Excellence Ministries in historic Montgomery, Alabama, where our goals are saving lives, building families, improving communities, one person at a time. Hallelujah. Again, we're going to have our standard verse, which comes from Daniel 6.3. Then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and the satraps because an excellent spirit was in him. And the king gave thought to setting him over every realm. Hallelujah. So, hey, we're going to an episode two of unity versus disunity, a lack of understanding. And this is going to be episode two. And we're going to look at the world and the church. Look. Unfortunately, we live in a, in a very conflicted world today. Divisions are all over the place. Disagreements are all over the place. Even hatred is all over the place. But hey, God never created those things, and it was never his will for those things to be a part of your life. Hey, today we're going to focus in on pigmentation. We're going to focus in on pigmentation because that's something that the enemy has used to cause diverse, to cause Many things that God never intended. Mm. God said, he, you will be known by him by the love that you show, mm. not about the hatred that you show. Mm. So what is pigmentation? Pigmentation is the color of our skin. Mm. Man was created by God with the dust of the earth. Mm. God, re, God restarted man after the flood and Noah's family had an issue because God said, hey, when he had his children, they had different shades, mm -hmm. okay? But at the end of the day, God never created sh shade or pigmentation mm -hmm. to determine how we treat people. Mm -hmm. So we're going we're gonna to get into the verse for today. So the verse for the day, excuse me, is taken from the word of God, and we're going to use this. It says what? My people are destroyed. For a lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that ye shall be no priests to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children, and that comes from Hosea, fourth chapter, the sixth and the eighth verse. I'm sorry, the fourth, Hosea, the sixth, the fourth chapter and the sixth verse, New King James Version. Mm -hmm. So we always like to give you four points about this scripture. And what I really want to do is give you a little bit more background. God was talking to the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. And he was talking to them because they had gotten away from their first love. Mm -hmm. When we leave God and we go by our own way, when we when we use our thoughts and, and deviate from his thoughts, mm -hmm. we're going to have confusion Chaos, and the word says every every bad work or every unholy work. Mm -hmm. So he was directing it towards Israel. Why Israel? Because they were the chosen people. Mm -hmm. They were the ones that were supposed to reflect God. Then God said unto Israel, I have found fault with you. Now in Revelations, you constantly see where God says to the church, I got this one thing against you. Mm -hmm. Or this one thing mm -hmm. creates an issue. And God tries to make sure that they get it right. God said, I found this fault. What was the fault? Third point, there is no truth. Mm -hmm. Not only was there no truth, there was no mercy. Mm -hmm. Not only was there no mercy, they, had, they no longer believed or followed the knowledge of God. Mm -hmm. And here, you know, a lot of us say we're in the worst world today. We got all these things happening and this and this and that. But let me show you what happens when you have no knowledge of God, mm -hmm. when you have no mercy, mm -hmm. and you have no truth. Mm -hmm. It said they were swearing, they were lying, they were killing, mm -hmm. they were stealing, mm -hmm. they were committing adultery, yeah. and all manner of wickedness. Mm -hmm. When God is out of, the, out of the plan, the enemy has chaos. Yeah. The enemy has freedom to reign, rule, mm -hmm. and no one's holding him accountable. Yeah. But hey, our guest today, as we get into this and we delve into this, is that we were turning our guest from last week, Pastor um, Lorenzo Glover Sr., again, founder of Keeping Young Men Out of Prison. Great to have you today. And Brother Aaron Broach, founder and host of Redeeming Identity Podcast. Hey, guys, 
What are your initial thoughts on that scripture? You know, uh, it's, it's really deep. See, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So in other words, what you don't know is destroying you. Mm -hmm. So I said, wow. So where do you get knowledge from? Really, you should get knowledge from the word of God. Yes. Psalms 119, verse 130 said, the entrance of God's word, it brings light. So when you get light, you get the knowledge of God. So what the enemy does, he works in the kingdom of darkness. Mm -hmm. And darkness is you're ignorant of God's words. Mm -hmm. So he wants that ignorance of his not knowing God's word. He wants that to travel from generation to generation. Mm -hmm. But the knowledge and the light of Christ should pass from generation. To yeah. generation. The more yeah. words you get, the more light and, the, and mm -hmm. more knowledge of God that you get. Mm -hmm. And what you were saying about the pigmentation, God created man from the dust of the ground. Mm -hmm. And so what the enemy has done, regardless of, see, we, we, we put the emphasis on the skin. Mm -hmm. God said a greater one lives on the inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, your skin didn't get saved. When you accept the Christ, that's some knowledge. Your skin didn't get saved. Mm -hmm. When you were born again, the same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead, what? It dwells in you. You mm -hmm. need to know that knowledge. Because if you don't know that knowledge, guess what? It's destroying you. Mm -hmm. And also, you, you're rejecting the light of Christ. Mm -hmm. And not only are you rejecting it, you're rejecting it for you, you're rejecting it for your, your, the next generation. Yeah. And that same ignorance that you don't know about Christ, it travels from generation yeah. to generation because you have rejected the light of Christ. Yeah. And so, man, that's why I said my people are destroyed. What, what you don't know is destroying you. If you're yeah. ignorant of what God wants to do, it's destroying you and it's destroying the next generation also. So that's why we have to always keep the light. Light gives knowledge, yes. but darkness brings about ignorance. And that's, mm -hmm. that's what keep, uh, Satan moves over the kingdom of darkness. He wants you to stay ignorant of what God has for you. So that's why we have to share the light, the knowledge of Christ, the lightness of me. And no matter how old you are in the Lord, you keep on feeding yourself the light of his word because you, you're never too grown, you're never too deep mm -hmm. to get into the light of his word because the right. more light you get, the more knowledge you get of Christ. Mm -hmm. And so when you don't have, you're being destroyed. Mm -hmm. And the enemy, he's gaining ground. Yes, he's gaining yes, ground. yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Brother Aaron, why don't you go and drop some, drop some knowledge, yeah. Brother Aaron. You, you, you just <laughs> reminded me of uh, Pastor Earl McClellan. Uh -huh. uh, he said, you ain't never seen anybody pick up a gate and say, I'm going to come get you with this gate. <laughs> he goes, uh-uh, we stormed the gate. Yes. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, so I just thought about that. Man, that verse, my people destroyed for lack of, lack of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And it just, this verse came to me is that what is knowledge mm -hmm. and what is the beginning of knowledge mm -hmm. is the fear of knowledge. Of the Lord, it is. Uh, we recently had Pastor John Bevere come in mm -hmm. and do some uh, one of our revival nights, mm -hmm. and he just said the one thing that he has seen spe uh, specifically here, mm -hmm. and, and he's speaking about America. Mm -hmm. He goes, mm -hmm. "We don't preach on the fear of the Lord," mm -hmm. and, and, and he goes. But where there's the fear of the Lord, the mm -hmm. spirit of the fear of the Lord, mm -hmm. all these good things come from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when there is no fear of God, mm. whew, I mean, all those things that you mentioned, and, and that pointed me to, to mm. Romans chapter one. And I think you're exactly right in, in that, you know, the root of the behaviors of swearing, lying, killing, stealing, committing adultery all come first because truth, there was a, a choice made to exchange the truth Mm -hmm. of God, about yes. God, mm -hmm. for a lie. Mm -hmm. it, it's interesting because it, it's talking about that the we chose to mm -hmm. worship and serve created things mm -hmm. and to fear those rather than to worship and serve and to fear God. And, mm -hmm. and, and that right there is when things just started spiraling mm -hmm. into chaos, as yeah. you said. And mm -hmm. so, you know, man, like, like you said, and kind of going back, it's it's trying to come up with these solutions mm -hmm. to spiritual problems mm. with earthly things. Mm, yes, you know when the only solution is to return to our first love, to return mm. back. Right. You know, man, uh, I remember the things that the the, the message that got me saved mm -hmm. was a message on the fear of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And see my <laughs> complete dis distance, mm -hmm. and the only one who could make that up was Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then you know, 
I don't know. And so in terms of, of unity, yes, how that how that fits is, man, like how could we even have a conversation? You know, no wonder there's there's mm-hmm. this unity when we when we're not even right here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. what are we gonna do? Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. You know, one of the things that we as human beings realize is that we're human, mm-hmm. right? And to me, it's real simple. The Old Testament was God showing us that we can't do it without him. Mm-hmm. Every person that's mm-hmm. in the Old Testament, even those that walked in faith, also walked in disobedience. Mm-hmm. And God allowed them, he said, listen, I am going to count it as righteousness mm-hmm. because they still had a heart. They still had an excellent spirit mm-hmm. to serve God. And then man decided that there was no longer a God. Mm-hmm. So man replaces God, Mm -hmm. right? So the point is that this, you know, no matter how we look at it, until we put God in his right position, Mm -hmm. we're going to have challenges. Mm -hmm. But God said to us, hey, I want you to choose me because God Mm -hmm. could have made us Mm -hmm. without choice. Yeah. So the challenge is, as they said in the Matrix, (laughs) is choice. Uh, Red or blue. Yeah. Which one are you? <laughs> Amen. Uh, but even if you've made the wrong choice, God gives us another opportunity. Mm-hmm. There's always yeah. another opportunity yeah. to get mm-hmm. it right. Yeah. So today what we're going to look at, these are going to be three different verses because normally we would try to stick with one. But I want to set the ground the ground yep. um, work as to why, uh, unfortunately, as Dr. King would have said, there was a season where our history was the most segregated thing and the church Mm -hmm. signed off on it. Mm -hmm. So we can't, you know, we're going to have honest conversations in this this group, Mm -hmm. not to devalue someone, but Mm -hmm. to say, hey, because we allowed this to happen, Mm -hmm. here is why we still have this unity today, because we never dealt with it. That's true. So there are three verses we're going to kind of address, and I'm going to kind of summarize them as to why they're together mm-hmm. and give you the five um, the points from that and then we're going to discuss it. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female he created them. Genesis 1 and 27. Mm-hmm. There's only one race. Mm-hmm. Human race. Mm-hmm. Human beings yeah, yeah, yeah. have soul, spirit, and flesh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How, and we shouldn't treat people by pigmentation. That's right. God never did that. Mm-hmm. Here's another scripture that you may say, where did that come from? Hey, the Lord said unto Cain, where is Abel thy brother? Mm-hmm. And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Guess what? Yes, you are. Yes, mm-hmm. yes you are. Yeah. Covetous came into the kingdom. When Adam and Eve sinned, then wickedness showed up. Mm-hmm. And here's a situation where because he was envious of someone, Mm -hmm. he killed the person, then asked God, well, why are you asking me? Mm -hmm. See, sometimes when the other side, you know, whether we want to realize it or not, um, this country, England, and even Spain, and Mm -hmm. some of the other countries that colonize other countries, Mm -hmm. right, in the name of Christianity, Mm -hmm. right, don't understand what that did to people's psyche. Mm-hmm. what that did to people's value yeah. making them think that they were less than mm-hmm. making them think that they weren't civilized because mm-hmm. they didn't look like you or they right. didn't worship like you mm-hmm. or they didn't have understanding like you yeah. but here's the thing later in the new covenant with better promises mm-hmm. god says if you love me you will love me with your whole heart your whole soul your whole mind and the greatest commandment, which is equal to, mm-hmm. is love your brother or love your neighbor That's as true. yourself. Mm-hmm. So when we have great love for us and hatred for others, mm-hmm. we're not representing God. We're not being people who are keeping our brothers and our sisters together. Mm-hmm. Next verse, real quick, and it's going to say this. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men build it. Mm-hmm. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, oneness, and they shall have all, they all have one language, and they begin to do. And now nothing 
will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. So let's go down and then let's confound their language mm -hmm. that they may not understand one another's speech. Mm -hmm. God said, hey, these diverse people with diverse pigmentation have come together as one. The challenge was they didn't see God. Right. They had, they decided they were going to do something in their pride. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because God didn't say, because let's, let's divide them by their pigmentation. Mm -hmm. He said, let's divide them because they all have the same language. Yeah. So God said, because, so he created different languages mm -hmm. so they could not walk in oneness. Yeah. So when we deal with this stuff and, and, you know, in America or in some of the countries, that we have, and we're going to deal with this later, classisms, mm -hmm. is that we, we look at it as a win-lose scenario. Mm -hmm. For me to be up, someone has to be down. Mm -hmm. For me to be powerful, someone has to be weak. Mm -hmm. And God didn't, didn't confound them based on status. No. He confounded them based on language. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? It does. So one of the so our final four points is, mm -hmm. hey, God created man in his image. Mm -hmm. Only man has the Imago Dei, yeah. the spirit of God, mm -hmm. right? Man was selfish, but God is giving. Mm -hmm. So we got to get out of our flesh, yeah. right? Yeah. Man has their own agenda, but, but they need God's agenda. Mm -hmm. So when we do it, God's agenda, God would not have separated them if they had sought God mm -hmm. and got God's permission to do what they were about to do. Mm -hmm. They say, we're gonna peel it up and be like God, almost what, it, what Satan said. Yeah. And then finally, God's separation was based again on language, mm -hmm. not race, mm -hmm. not pigmentation. Right. So what do you think, Pastor? I'm gonna go with you, I'm gonna just I'm gonna repeat what you just said. God okay. only created one race, yes. the human race. Uh, there's no such thing as an inferior race, a superior race. Yes. That, that's, that's straight out of the kingdom of God. Yes. It really is. A human, in the simplest definition, a human is a spirit with a dirt body. Mm -hmm. The Bible says we created in the image of God. So what? We're, we're spirit. Mm -hmm. And we just, you walk around for dirt. Your body makes you legal in the earth. Yes. A spirit in the earth without a body, body. is a demon. He's yeah. illegal. Yes. So mm -hmm. the, the only race is that what the enemy has, has done and you know why I work, I work at the Legacy Museum and I look, look at the history of our nation and it's it's, it's evil. Yeah. But guess what? Once you accept Jesus Christ, and I tell people this and, and sometimes people get, I said, once you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I said, a white man doesn't come into your heart, neither does a black man come into your heart. The Holy Spirit, the same Spirit that raised up Christ, yeah. come to your heart. Come on. Yes. A, a white man or a black man comes to your heart. Yeah. But the enemy uses that. He's yeah, been yeah, using yeah. that for centuries mm -hmm. to divide us. Yeah. There's no inferior or superior. We're the, we the human race. Yeah. Yes. And I tell people this. There's no such thing. And I know we're going to get there. Uh, no interracial marriage. Yeah. You, you, if you marry another human and they're saved, yeah. it's not it's not such a thing as a mixed race yeah. of okay. Those are world words of the world. They're not words of the kingdom. Because, you know, the Bible says, how can, you, how can you say that you love me who you do see? And you hate God who you can't see. Mm -hmm. But the enemy has called, and he plays that same card of race. He's been playing it for years. Mm -hmm. And it's just like the football game we watched last night. And let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. And see, what the enemy is going to do, he, he plays this card for pigmentation to cause us to divide and hate. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and I'm not making a negative con confession, but it, it looks like, and it, it looks like mm -hmm. it's working. Right. Mm -hmm. So that he gonna continue playing. It's just like a. I'm gonna give you an example. Uh, we watched football game last night. Mm -hmm. Now. Roll tide. Yeah, roll the tide. <laughs> but check it. But, but check this out. No, now, go ahead. what if 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 the tide ran twenty four dive the whole game, mm -hmm. one play, and made a touchdown every time they ran that play. Guess what? Mm -hmm. They're not going to change that play. Right. So what the devil does in the kingdom of darkness, he runs the same play. And it costs the vision. It shouldn't be. Mm. He says, he gets his devil and demons and they go in the hole. He says, what, what, what play do you want to run, Mr. Devil? Mm. The same one we've been running. Mm. It's still working. White superior, 
black inferior on one. Ready? Let's play wrong. Mm -hmm. But in the body of Christ, we should be wise. I mean, that's not, that's wrong. Mm -hmm. We are the human race. There's no superior or inferior race. And if once you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, when I accepted Christ, my skin didn't turn. Did yours? Did anybody, anybody who accepted Christ, did, did the color of your skin change when you accepted Christ? No. Mm -hmm. That wasn't a problem. The problem was on the inside. You need yes. the Holy Spirit. You need Jesus Christ. And the only way to get the Holy Spirit in your heart is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's what that's what uh, Adam lost in the garden. He said, he told Adam the day you eat of the fruit, you're going to die. Well, he didn't die. Adam lived 930 years after. Yes. What was missing was the Holy Spirit. It left him. And the way God sees death, when the Holy Spirit is not in your heart, you're a dead man, regardless of the color of your skin. So you don't need light dust or black, but you need the Holy Spirit in your heart because, see, God doesn't care about, about he wants you He wants you saved. He wants you saved. He doesn't care about the color of your skin. But we in our society, we have made it a big thing, the pigmentation. And it's, it's, it's full of history, but it's out of darkness. It's not out of the kingdom of light. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Pastor Aaron, go and drop some knowledge. Man, um, I, I've been brought back to, I'm trying to find the actual reference in Acts, but in Galatians 2, 11 through 14, when Paul is talking back about when he had to oppose Peter. Mm -hmm. Because Peter got into mm -hmm. that saying, oh, my, my, Jewish, mm -hmm. my Jewish brothers over here, that I, I came from are going to look down on me mm -hmm. for associating mm -hmm. with these Gentiles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the disunity, mm -hmm. you know, e even racially, because, yeah. you know, the the Jews, all of them are from that area mm -hmm. in Israel. Mm -hmm. A lot of these in Galatia, they would have been mm -hmm. Turkish, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And and you've, you've got this this fighting and, and that has multi facets, not just not just with skin color, but also just with tradition. Mm -hmm. right. You know, and, and it and it's interesting, like the enemy's playbook was the same mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. His playbook was even the same, you know, looking all the way back to you referenced mm -hmm. the play that he, he played with Eve. Mm -hmm. He says, Hey, it's like he's his. Uh, as I was telling somebody the other day, I was telling we have Megan and I leave a marriage group, and I said, "You know the thing the enemy hates the most? Mm -hmm. uh, God, obviously, mm -hmm. but he hates the relationships that God creates mm -hmm. because he lost mm -hmm. his relationship with mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. and so any relationship mm -hmm. he's going to go after. Yeah. It. So he goes, hey, Eve, guess what? God's not for you." Mm -hmm. No, 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 you can be your own, mm -hmm. God. No, no, you got this. You got this. Mm -hmm. Take it. Mm -hmm. It's not my fault. Yes. She's the woman who you put here with me. It's her fault. Mm -hmm. It's her separation. Mm -hmm. I mean, his game yeah. has always been to, you know, and it's like from the outside looking in, right, we can see somebody, we're doing ministry, mm -hmm. a couple or, or and a person, and you're just like, oh my gosh, they can't see it. It's so mm -hmm. I mean, that's the enemy. Like, what's, that's the enemy. Mm -hmm. He's just running the same play. Mm -hmm. He's isolating, mm -hmm. destroying, mm -hmm. taking, getting them separated. Mm -hmm. You know, a house yeah. divided against itself. Yeah. Jesus even said that about demons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. A house divided against itself cannot stand. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm going, man, you know, it, it does, it, it breaks my heart mm -hmm. when anyone, whether it's, it's you know, my, my grandfather was a, it, well, his, his parents were immigrants to mm -hmm. our country, mm -hmm. came through Ellis Island mm -hmm. back in, I don't know, 1900 or something. Yeah. And he grew up in poverty in New York City. Mm -hmm. Nothing. And his dad was just a, a, a lovely cobbler, shoemaker, mm -hmm. depression. And so he did, you know, he grew up with people saying all kinds of stuff about him because he's Italian. 
mm-hmm. in New York City. Mm-hmm. He moved down to Tennessee and he witnessed something terrible. Mm-hmm. And it always gave him a bad taste. He, he's like, how can somebody treat? Mm-hmm. He's like, I understand. I, I felt like that growing up. Mm-hmm. Man, when we do that as a church, mm-hmm. and how, how, how mm-hmm. can we continue yeah. to think, you know, I'm, I'm better, or so, you know, I, I even thought, it, even to touch on something that's even close to home, how wrong is it to go, this person is, is black, so they must be a Democrat, or this person's mm-hmm. white, so they must be a Republican. It's like, mm-hmm. what? <laughs> you, know? Mm-hmm. you know, it's like, wait a minute. Both of us, <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. you know, in yeah. the way that the enemy, though, he's like, All right, how many things can I throw in mm-hmm. to this yeah. pot here to mm-hmm. stir it up yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and make a really just toxic stew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. good. You know, um, I think we all like to eat. And <laughs> so uh, uh, one of the thing, one of the things that when we get this metaphor dealing with um, the um, seasoning that we put in our food, you know, I go back to what Pastor Glover says: the meat and the potatoes mm. are the issues that deal with life. Mm. You know. Uh, but the seasoning even on top of it mm. is what we add to it. Mm. Our life experience, maybe we had a bad situation. Mm. You know, maybe, you know, we weren't treated well in school. So that adds to the seasoning, mm-hmm. you know, and then, you know, mix it all up and let it simmer. You know, when we simmer things, that means we think on it for a long time. Mm-hmm. And now it becomes a part of us versus right. quickly confessing. Mm-hmm. And, you know, mm-hmm. word God says, when we get a thought that is not aligned to God, yeah. we are to quickly cast it out. That's right. But That's we good. simmer, mm-hmm. we continue to meditate on the wrong mm-hmm. things. Mm-hmm. Instead of meditating on the word day and night, mm-hmm. then those things become part of us. And now they become strongholds. Yeah. You know, but I want to get this last scripture in. So, so the Lord said, because in this episode, guys, we're walking you through. Genesis, what was said, what was done, mm-hmm. how did God put it all together? Mm-hmm. And I want to I want you to notice this scripture for me. Genesis 6, 7 through 9 says, And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, mm-hmm. and the creeping things and the fowls of the air, mm-hmm. for it repented me mm-hmm. that I have made them. Mm-hmm. But Noah found grace Mm -hmm. even though god had decided he was going to do something Mm -hmm. he still had enough grace to grace man but noah found grace in the eyes of the lord Mm -hmm. that these are the generations of noah noah was a just man and perfect in his generation Mm -hmm. and noah walked with god Mm -hmm. the first thing i want you to take out of this Mm -hmm. God was disappointed with humans. Mm-hmm. He didn't say, okay, um, mm-hmm. those Romans, they got to go. Mm-hmm. He didn't say, oh, those Galatians got to go. Mm-hmm. He didn't say, oh, those who were descendant of Canaan need to go. He didn't say those that him need to go. He said he was upset mm-hmm. with man. Yeah. And God doesn't see pigmentation from a perspective of sin. Mm-hmm. He sees the character of men yeah. as sin. Mm-hmm. So because of that, because we were, you know, you know, eating and drinking and fornicating and stealing and mm-hmm. have forgotten God and didn't have a knowledge of God anymore, God said, look at the earth, it has become wicked. Uh-huh. So if God looks at the heart of man, as we've said, mm-hmm. right, as Pastor Glover shared, you know, we are spiritual, we have a soul. Mm-hmm. That we live in the flesh. Mm-hmm. The flesh should be the last thing we judge people by. Mm-hmm. Amen. Dr. King said it this way, and as I have a dream speech, mm-hmm. he said, There will be a day mm-hmm. where you will judge my children, yeah. not by the color of their skin, mm-hmm. but the content of their character. Mm-hmm. The word of God has said that. We read it in last episode, we read it in this episode. Mm-hmm. 
God wants us to have godly character. And when we don't have godly character, God judges us on our, on that character, but he gives us a way out mm -hmm. to come back and walk in his grace. So Pastor Glover, what are your final thoughts in reference to that verse? We're going to get into yeah. the curse of him in the next episode. Mm -hmm. So we want to hold back on that. I will. But, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. What are your thoughts in reference uh, to you, you know, Noah? What you, what you just said, uh, he said, for it repented me that I had made them. It, it, I had a translation that said, it grieved God at his heart that he made him because it's because his mind continually stayed on evil. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Yeah. Yes. And if, if you look in the Bible, in the Galatians, out of chapter 5, the works of the flesh, whatever, uh, adultery, hatred, whatever, there's no color in there. Yeah. There's no pigmentation. He just, the works of the flesh are these. It doesn't matter what the color of your skin is. Yeah. But see, the, the enemy tries to, tries to come in and see the, the most important thing that we need to know is that, that, that we're saved. Yes. And that we love the Lord, and we don't, and we don't want to grieve Him. We want to be found. We want, we want to have a generation of blessed people, mm -hmm. and see so either either the blessings go down through generation, or the ignorance allows that the enemy goes down through generation. Psalms one forty five, verse four says, "One generation shall praise thy works to another." So the generation of the, of the upright should pass down the blessings of God. But see what the enemy. He wants you to stay in an old state of mind. And God said, it repent him because of man, because his mind stayed on. That's why a man needs to be born again, because mm -hmm. an ungenerated man, his mind continually stays on evil. Mm -hmm. And you see it in our society. That's why God wants him to see. That's why he wants his spirit back in, the Holy Spirit back in the man. Because without the Holy Spirit, all man can do is evil. He does the works of the flesh. That's why when you accept Jesus Christ, you Lord and Savior, you want that the blessings of Christ mm. to go from generate. You don't want the curse. You want the blessings to go from what generation to generation. We don't want to grieve his heart. We don't want God said grieve that I made because man without Christ, without the Holy Spirit, he's evil. You said on the news, men, ungenerated men without Christ are evil. Doesn't matter about the color of your skin. Mm -hmm. You need to be saved. Yeah. You need the Holy Spirit in your heart. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we want that to pass from, from generation. Mm -hmm. So the, the knowledge I have of God shouldn't, shouldn't stop with me. Yeah. The knowledge of Christ just should go to my children and my grandchildren. We want to go down from generation to generation. Oh, Amen. Lorenzo walked with God, now his son walking with him. Mm -hmm. Now his grandchildren, now his great great. You want that to pass on down from generation to generation. You don't want the evil. Right. You don't want to grieve with heart. You, you you want to be saved. You want the Holy Spirit in your heart. You don't want to grieve. With God. If you love God, right, you don't want to grieve. You don't want. To and God said, "Grieve because of God, man, man, yeah. just continue to stay on evil, man." Yeah. So that's why we need born again. Yeah. Because yeah. we want that born again experience to go down from generation to generation. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's why greater is He that sent us. That's right. Yeah. Right. God isn't dealing with the outward. He's dealing with the inward. He is. He is. You know, and you know what, mm -hmm. Pastor Glove, even with your ministry. Mm -hmm. You know what? You're going to have a legacy because you're going to appoint people mm -hmm. who may not have that father figure, mm -hmm. may not be able to go to church. Mm -hmm. Back in my day, the vacation Bible school bus came on the projects and picked me up and <laughs> took me to church, right? But okay. now there's so many relationships that mm -hmm. are not defined yeah. that God uses mm -hmm. to point people to Jesus. Yeah. Brother Aaron, what are your thoughts, sir? Man, oof. God, there's so much good here. <laughs> um, you know, I was thinking two things. Uh, is that, and, and I'm glad you touched on this, Pastor Glover. Mm -hmm. The uh, in the, the Hebrew, the verse before in that Genesis six five, mm -hmm. it says, "And saw Yahweh mm -hmm. that great was the wickedness of man mm -hmm. in the earth." Mm -hmm. And it says in every intent mm -hmm. of the thoughts, the, even the intent of the thoughts mm -hmm. of the heart mm -hmm. of his heart was all together mm -hmm. evil yeah. all the time. Mm -hmm. And I just go, man, and, and he says, then he goes, you know, I love even the NLT says and he was sorry. Yeah. He was just sorry. Man. Sorry. Man. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it made me then think about how Peter is talking about the people like, oh, why is Jesus taking so long to come back? You know, and I think about, uh, and I'll get to why he answers that. Right. I think about my uncle. Mm -hmm. 
my Uncle Joe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't know Jesus? There you go. That's it. I think about my cousin Daniel. Say that. Who doesn't know Jesus? Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. And it says, if you don't understand mm -hmm. the slowness of God, mm -hmm. this is kindness, this is yeah. patience, yeah. and he doesn't want mm -hmm. anyone to perish. Yeah. And, Come on. and I'm like, man, God's mm -hmm. love? Mm -hmm. and, and God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he gave us one of us. Yes. And, and it just it brings me back into the relationship. Mm -hmm. It's like Satan's number one goal from now till <laughs> he gets destroyed because he knows his he knows his time is short. Yeah. yeah. Which in Revelation 12 says he knows his time mm -hmm. is short, so he's busy at work. Mm -hmm. The number one thing he's trying to do is to keep my Uncle Joe, mm -hmm. my cousin Daniel, mm -hmm. from coming to know him. And, and one of those ways is from keeping me from being affected, mm -hmm. from keeping things even that might bring, you know, yes, they're gonna, there's going to be division if they go, well, I don't believe mm -hmm. in your God. Mm -hmm. But am I adding to that by throwing in things that are of this world that, that cause them even more to say, oh, I really don't want Jesus. Yes. I, I don't know. It just this, this hit me as just like, man, God's heart mm -hmm. for all mm -hmm. to come mm -hmm. to repentance. Yes. That's right. You know, man, mm -hmm. you know, I, I love, and I love our pastor whenever he leads our prayer times. He says, Hey guys, we're going to pray for the number one thing on God's heart right now. Mm -hmm. And that's his lost kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I go, man, like, mm -hmm. and I think about that when we come together, even as our group, I'm, I'm like, guys, the most important thing, mm -hmm. the mo why do we, why am I, why, like, I think somebody said, why am I still here and God hasn't taken me back mm -hmm. to heaven yet? Because mm -hmm. he has a job for me to do. That's now. right. Mm -hmm. And that's to help him yeah. to go out and go into that mission field. Mm -hmm. Man. Yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that we're going to do our final thoughts, but one of the things I want to share is that you may have fallen for the lies of the enemy mm -hmm. concerning pigmentation. Mm -hmm. You may have fallen for the lies of the enemy that mm -hmm. people are a certain way as us versus them as them. It's that group versus this group. But God created humanity. And God doesn't want us to be colorblind. Mm -hmm. He wants us to be color blessed. Mm -hmm. He wants us to value people based on who they are, mm -hmm. based on their character, and not drawing conclusions and generalizations mm -hmm. that, you know, even if, unfortunately, history has taught us some things, mm -hmm. but we don't want to walk in bitterness. We don't want to walk in unforgiveness. We don't want to walk in a spirit that we can't trust mm -hmm. the image of God and other people. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to be an individual who can't see people the way God saw yeah. people. Mm -hmm. God was between his own thoughts. He said, I'm going to destroy mm -hmm. mankind mm -hmm. because they have lived outside of my realm. Mm -hmm. But God looked upon man mm -hmm. and he saw Noah mm -hmm. and he graced Noah. Yeah. God can grace you. That's good. God can bless you. That's good. He can redeem you and he can restore you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Brother um, Glover, what's your final thought to lead the people you with? You know the thing, man, the Bible says, what is a prophet of man if he should gain the whole world and lose his soul? Mm -hmm. And so at, at the end of the day, he wants your soul saved. You don't care anything about the color of your skin. He wants your soul saved. And like my brother said, the reason he's long suffering, he's patient, not willing not willing that any should perish. That's why he had not come back. Mm -hmm. Man, people people don't realize if you if you die without Christ, you're gonna wake up in hell. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and God loves you. He doesn't want you to go. It's not his will now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you have a choice. Yeah. And we're telling you, you need to choose this day who you're gonna serve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, you need Jesus Christ. Regardless of the pigmentation of your skin, you need Christ. Yeah. 
Don't let the enemy d- divide you. And, and th- th- there's there's no other way to get to the Father but through the Son Jesus Christ. And the enemy has brought in many doctrines of demons to get us all confused and get us in strife and 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 uh, perishing because of a lack of knowledge. If you don't have a knowledge of God, man, of Jesus Christ, you're perishing. And not only are you perishing, but your children and your children. So we we want the knowledge of the light of Christ yeah. to come to everybody. Man. Come on. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Yes. yes. But then I'm, I'm I'm right on with that. And you know, I don't if if the if and I let you lead lead in that. Um one thing that I always have felt led to do, and I and I really got this from our own pastor. Mm-hmm is that they don't want to go away from any service without giving mm-hmm. somebody an opportunity mm-hmm. at that moment to go from death to life, mm-hmm. to put their faith mm-hmm. and trust in Jesus. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm so thankful that at Passion 2007, that Louis Giglio said, does anybody here want to come to faith does anybody here want to give their life to Jesus right now mm-hmm. and God through that man gave me an opportunity mm-hmm. and I'm forever changed mm-hmm. I'm forever saved yeah. and so you know it, it, if we all no matter who we are could be honest with ourselves mm-hmm. and really take that look in the mirror mm-hmm. And, and figure out uh, who's the problem. Yeah. And, and, I'll, and I'll borrow from um, a Taylor Swift song. Mm. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. Mm, yeah. mm. It's me. Yes. And that that's the truth. Mm. And that that when I look at where the war, where the where does the strife come from? I'm like, oh my mm. gosh. Oh. Mm-hmm. I can't, I'm not going to get there. Mm-hmm. And the beautiful thing about the gospel is that he already did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. We're bringing this to a close, but one of the things I want to share before we close out is that God wants you saved. Mm-hmm. God wants everyone on that road to heaven. Mm-hmm. And on in Revelation, it tells us that it was a number that can't be counted. Mm-hmm. Various tongues, various nations, various tribes Mm -hmm. were all on their way to heaven. And you may have the feeling that tug in your heart right now. You may be saying, hey, I'm not ready. I'm a wretch undone. I'm a sinner. You don't know what I did last night. You know what? God knows what you did last night. But God also knows that you have within you the ability to change it in a moment. Mm -hmm. The word of God says that if we confess our sins mm-hmm. one to another and unto God, mm-hmm. he is willing to forgive us, yeah. redeem us, and throw that, sin, throw that sin from here to the east as far as the east is from the west. Mm-hmm. And it don't take a lot of work. Mm-hmm. It just takes a decision. Mm-hmm. You know, Paul wrote later in the scriptures, he says, I am fully persuaded. Mm-hmm. Nothing can separate me from the love of God. That's right. Except a choice. Mm-hmm. Except a choice. Come on. So if you feel the need to make that choice, mm-hmm. now is the time. Now is the acceptable Jeez. moment. Just simply wherever you are, if you're watching this podcast, if you're listening to this podcast, Jesus just wants you to surrender to him. Mm-hmm. He paid the price. That's right. We just got to walk into it. Mm-hmm. John 3.16 tells us, For God so loved the world mm-hmm. that he gave his only begotten son, mm-hmm. that who shall ever, maybe you're that who shall ever, mm-hmm. believeth in him, shall have everlasting life. Mm-hmm. It is not God's will for you to spend eternity no, in hell. Right. It that's is right. not God's will mm-hmm. for you to fight and worry and have anxiety and be pushed by politics or be mm. pushed by traditions of mm. men. God wants you in his kingdom. Mm-hmm. And all you got to do is make the decision. Mm-hmm. Hey, I want to thank our guests today. I want to thank our viewers for spending this time with us. Because remember, time is the only finite thing that we have. And we heard our guests say, God is holding off his return mm-hmm. to give you an opportunity to get right with him. So may God bless you. May God keep you. 
May his face shine upon you and give you peace. See you next time.